Whoa. So if you're anything like us here at the Appalachian Bushman School, Cold Cracker Bushcraft, you love to just tinker in the woods. Little. So this week, one of my instructors and friends, Mike Gasper, he sent me a video. He's like, hey, you ever think of doing this? I said, no, I never thought of doing that. Why don't we do that? We'll do it on a video. Well, you get the point. Let's just get started. For this video, we're going to need a gimlet, pocket knife, and some paracord. So we're gonna call this the bead tensioning device, B-E-A-D tensioning device, because we're gonna make somewhat of a bead and that's the tension point on this. Now all we're gonna need next is a small one inch to half inch section of this small branch with a hole drilled in the middle and that's where the gimlet's gonna come into play. But one mistake I see people make with gimlets all the time is they cut this and then they have this little thing and they're trying to hold it. Keep your branch hole, start in the center, get your lead screw started, and then drill through about an inch and a half, cut it free and you'll have yourself a nice clean hole. Okay, now for the next part, what we're going to do is we're gonna take a Y branch. We're gonna come up just a little bit, not much, and we are going to cut this, decide where we're gonna cut this. And then we're gonna take our gimlet and we're gonna drill another hole inside this. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you are going to take your bead. You're gonna put one end through, and then that end that you put through, you're going to put through your Y branch that has the hole in it, okay? So you wanna just feed this through, just like that, okay? Now you're gonna take this end and you're gonna go back through your bead. So we're all frayed up here, but we're gonna still make it work. And then after much struggle, <laughs> we get that through. So at this point now, what we're going to do is um, pull extra tag end off one side, and uh, this is what our setup should be looking like. All right, so now we could take a bush pot, a lantern, anything like that, we could hang it on our Y branch. If we just let this go, okay, it's gonna slide down. But I can pull this thing up to any incremental level I want. Okay, and then at the top, my recommendation is to just slide that bead on top of our Y branch, and then you can just put a half hitch or whatever you wanna stick in there just to lock that thing in place. Okay, so then if you need to move it, if you have this line, it can't go anywhere, but you can pull this bead up and then really easily let it down and then tie again. Whatever you wanna tie off here is a security measure put that thing in place and you're good to go. And there you go, a different type of suspension system. Now, cook pots this would work with. This would also work, in my mind, really well if you were in an area that you wanna have an adjustable lantern or anything that you're gonna need to go up and down with um, very incrementally this thing will work out fine. But at the end of the day, number one, it's another tool for the toolbox. So you never know when you're gonna run into a situation out here that you need one of these things. And that's, I'm big on that, as you know, from following this channel. And then number two, it's a crafty type thing. So is there other options to hang pots? Yes. Is there easier options to hang pots? Yes. Is this fun? Yeah, we got to use some of our tools, look for resources, tinker with it, play with it a little bit, and it's just something different. So if you go into camp all the time, give this one a shot rather than your go-to trusted method and see how you like it. This was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.